Dear friends, welcome back. In this video, I'd like to do one machine on the one hub, which is 4 and 6, 2. The link will be added into the description section below so that you can download and play the machine if you want. I think this machine is very similar to the first one, first machine in this series. However, this will, you know, we will face new challenges. So without further ado, let's just get started. We can switch into the Linux VM. First of all, we need to identify the IP address of the target. The utility I'd like to use is NetDiscover. As you can see, the IP address of the target could be identified as 254. And then we need to do the map scanning. To save time of this video, I've already done that earlier. So for now, we just cut out the result. As you can see, I use the option like since again, the version again, and default scripts again, and output the result into this file. So from the map scanning, we can tell that the target has three open ports. The first, the most important open port number are 222 and 2049. And this one, just I mentioned usually, we do not need to take into consideration. The 22 is running SSH surface and also the verse information. And uh, of, of course, I know, yeah, this version doesn't have many vulnerabilities at all. And the last one is 2049, which is running FS, NFS surface or network file sharing surface. It's so obvious that what have to do next, we need to do immersion with this NFS surface, like the first machine in this series, okay? So the utility I'd like to use is show mount with option of E and followed by the IP address of the target. Yeah, as you can see, we got this list, the share list. So then I think we need to mount this uh, share on our local mounting point, okay? To do that, we need to first of all need to create the the directory to be mounted on, okay? And next, we can use sudo mount with tmfs and yeah, followed by the yeah, I auto complete this command. Yeah, it's done, and then we can navigate into this directory. Yeah, there is one, just the only one file, and this file is compressed file in 7z. You know, this is a very common format of compress, compressing, okay? So I'd like to copy this file to my working directory, and then we can go back. And uh, now we need to uncompress or decompress this file. And the utility I like to use is 7zx backup. Press enter. However, we need to supply the password to go on. How to do? We can, you know, the John the Reaper has corresponding to to convert the file into the hash. Then we can use the John the Reaper to crack. Okay. So, and then I we can use the 7z2 John. Press enter. As you can see, the, I think we have already converted successfully. Of course, I think if you do the very important, uh, my friends, if you do this machine for the first time, you will face or you will have this problem. I have already copied this one. Actually, I spent a bit time, a bit long time to sort it out. When you run this command, as you can see over here, you will get the error like this one. Cannot locate yet yeah, the LZMA. I think this is the module. And to install, yeah, we can run this one. Of course, I think I spent or I made some search to, so to solve this issue. And uh, to solve this issue, I, you, you need to run these two commands. Okay, I will put this into the description section below so that uh, you can 
solve the issue by yourself. Okay, so now uh, as you can see, we have already converted this file into the hash value. Then we can use John the Reaper to crack because I've already made such password cracking before. So the John the Reaper will not go through the process again because it's hash. So to display the result or encrypt, decrypted password, we just use the show option and hashes. Press enter. As you can see, we got the password and then we can decrypt or decompress with this password. Okay, so we can use and we can provide the password. As you can see, no problem. Now we got uh, some pictures. Hello. Yeah, these uh, pictures are very similar to the first machine. However, if you yeah check this these files, what we have already decompressed from this file, you can notice that the two or key pairs. And this one, of course, must be the private key. And this one is the public key. And however, of course, we need to change the mode for the private key in order to use the private key to log in as SSH. OK, however, you know, also we at this moment, we do not know the username information, which you can get from the private key. As you can see, the username should be user. So then we can use sh id user, press enter. However, we are prompted by another password or passphrase. So we need to decrypt uh, this passphrase first to, to log in. Okay. To do that, we use similarly, we can use ssh john and to two, and then we can use John the Reaper again, word list two. Yeah, again, we can use the show command. Yeah, the, I think this, this is the password. So then I think we can log in to the target without problem. Yeah, we can copy. So we do not need to type in every character anymore. As you can see now, we have really got the initial for the hold. However, you know, if we check some commands like, um, for example, like uh, netcat, yeah, netcat is there. And for example, we can check the wget. However, wget is not found. Next, so we also can check the, the Q. Yeah, Q is not found. So next, uh, of course, we can do some local immigration manually. For example, home, yet yeah, there's just only one normal user. And we can go inside this home directory. Nothing interesting. And we need to elevate our privilege. And to do that, we need to check whether this kind of user can run sudo. No. And also we can find, for example, like the permission setting. And the type, okay. As you can see, we got the result. And this one, yeah, this one has SUID bit on. It means that we can run this command to get the privileged shell. How? You know, I think I have already done a similar machine which has to do us a command or utility. You know, this one is similar to like uh, like in Windows, run us, run us administrator, okay? And uh, the do us has config, configuration file. We can, you know, we can cut out this configuration file. It means that we can use this command, yeah, this line permit, no need to provide the password and as root user, yes, yeah, so the, no, the current user can run us root and can run the command is this one less command you know this one is similar to more okay and also the we must use this less command to display this one so this is argument okay so how to do we can use do as and we can copy the command 
<coughs> and then the followed by the file. Okay, of course, this is the just uh, print to print out the message. We need to escape from the less. We can by pressing the key V. And as you can see, now we are going to the VI editor. And now we can put the column and run the SH. As you can see, we got the privileged shell. And we can run the ID. And then we can go to the root directory to cut out the flag without any problem. So that's pretty much it. I'd like to see you in the next one. Bye. Have a nice day.